In this video, we'll show you how to validate email in your FileMaker solution with the Mailgun API. We'll be using the sample app that we use in some of our other courses at Productive Computing University. And this is also showing the iTunes and OMDB if you want to check out those videos we put on YouTube. We are going to look at Mailgun and we're going to follow through our checklist to eventually be able to validate an email on a customer account with one click of a button. So let's get right into it. The first thing we need to know is our resources location. That is this website. And when we go to that specific website, there's a lot of good API reference information from Mailgun and they give the base URL, which is one of the first things that we are going to need. You'll notice that there are two different ones, one for EU customers and one if you are not in the EU. So we know we're going to need this. So we'll go ahead and copy that and paste that into our base URL location. So now we have our first two check marks done. The next is to look for any curl options and those hopefully will be here and here we see authentication is needed so we're going to need an API key which means we'll need to sign up for that and this is free if you click sign up you'll have to put in name and email and they do ask for a payment but it is free with the limits that they have in place and then they have other options if you're going to be validating a ton of them but here are a few just for trial purposes to see if it's something that you like so i've already gotten my account and my key and then you can log in to get those you'll have to use your own api key when you log in for your account. But it does show that we have the curl options needing this user API and key. And it does have an option for a URL call by putting the key directly in there. And you want to make sure you keep it secret. They have a public versus a private key when you log in. I have a note about the date format. There's error tracking, so that's always helpful. And then we're looking for the other curl options. And I don't see those here. We have to actually scroll down to email validation. There's a whole lot more you can do with Mailgun, but we're just going to focus on email validation, which can give us some really good information quickly to know if we should email this person or not. There's talk about the key. This is a get, and right away we see a difference here. There's a V4 with the address and validate. And if we look back at our base URL, this said V3. So this could be tricky, but we know we have a get statement and we're passing in the email address. They do give an example. So here's all the curl options here. And I put those all in a neat little reminder here of what those are so we can apply them very easily and notice a few of the formatting pieces that are here we'll see how that goes this g shows that it is a get uh, as far as using apis in a post and then we get these results back so if we come back here we have seen the curl options we have our API key. We've seen that the parameter is just the email address. So now we are ready to test this. So we'll just plug in our pieces here, our base URL. We know it is a get with our user authentication and the email address, which we'll go ahead and put one in right here. And let's test our request and we get an error and here we'll notice that while we have our base url in their example that they gave we had to have v4 address and validate in so although this was the base this actually needs to be 
a four, and then we have to have address and validate. So now that we have the right one, let's try our request. And we have an invalid option here. And sometimes it is simply these quotes that make it incorrect. So now we'll test it. We get an answer. Now we get these here. So even though the key had these quotes in the example that we saw here, they're putting it right there, that sometimes the documentation is not as accurate as you would like. And this is where having a course, especially if it's a more complex API, can be very helpful. You don't have to go through the trial and error. So now that we've tested it, we've seen that we got these responses back, which is exactly what they have here. Now we can validate that we've tested it. We see the available fields that come back. So now let's check our JSON here in our JSON parser. And we see here are the keys. The address is there. We go back we can see that each of these and the key value pairs and we're looking for all the information we can get and it tells you it's not disposable it's not a role address and the reason says there's no mx4 gmail and the result says undeliverable with a high risk so this may not be one that you want to do but each of these is the index or path that we're going to use to get to this information in the JSON get element function and put that into our fields. So we have our JSON keys. Now we're just ready for our script. So I've already made a script for that. It's fairly straightforward. We're going to send an email address and just make sure it's not empty. We have our keys that we found in being able to extract that information. So I set those in a variable. We have our final URL, which looks very familiar. We have our curl, which should also look very familiar. And just one simple insert from URL. We get our response and put that all into one variable and pass that back and just put in a few extra notes to make it easier to read through exactly what you're getting. And then we're going to set our email validate response. So very simple script, nothing to elaborate. So we have that done and now we are ready for our interface, which will just go straight to our list. So suppose we have a list of email addresses. So we'll just go here for support at ProductiveComputing.com. We click this and we in instantly get our risk is medium and it's deliverable. So if we look at a different one, and here I just put the button right out here if we want to. If we look at, well, we'll just try this one. This risk is also high. This is a disposable address. So now we can just go through and check our entire list seems to be quite high. So let's come back to maybe this one. Oh, here's low risk if we're emailing PCU at ProductiveComputing.com. So I hope that is very helpful at showing just how quickly you can go through a checklist and make sure you have all the pieces. It may take some trial and error. But once you get familiar with APIs, if you've taken one of our courses on the fundamentals or Stripe or MailChimp, then there's a whole lot more that you can do. We hope to see you inside one of our courses. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.